Hey guys, it's Raven of TheCuriousRaven.net and the founder of Pearls and Arsenic Corsetry, Hong Kong's first luxury corsetry brand. So I just wanted to make a very quick video because I've just received my absolutely incredible overbust from Sparkle Ren, who is one of the most respected and adored corseteers in the industry, and it is absolutely exquisite. It's all completely open in the back because I wanted to talk about closed busk corsets like closed front corsets that do not have a closing busk on the front now this corset took me from the time that i got it to open all of the back it took me about 10 minutes now what i want to be doing sorry that i didn't take a video so that i could show you in person but um i was getting a little flustered trying to do it. it it can be quite frustrating what you need to do is you need to make sure that the bunny ears that are out really really long are able to be pulled up and pulled down in kind of equal proportion so you want to start at the part that is closest to the bunny ear loop itself and start pulling out the string so that you can get a lot more string available for the lower part and for the upper part. Now what you want to kind of do is you want to have it as even as possible because there's no busk in the front that you can close you're gonna to have to slip your arms in underneath and you're gonna to have to kind of squeeze your whole body inside with your arms like this and then kind of wiggle it on and pull it down you need an ample amount of string so Jenny from Sparkle Ren knows this and she provided like at least three times that much string in order to be able to get into the corset. Now I'm going to just go ahead and start kind of lacing this up um, while talking about it, but I have found that I personally really love open busk corsets with like the the, the steel eye and um, uh, post fronts because I find these can be a little bit tedious to get into. So one of the things with this type of style, one of the first things I probably want to do is actually tie my hair up, um, which is what I often do whenever I'm doing my laces, if I have, if you have really long hair. Um, but what I'm going to want to do is because the closed bus corset has so much more string and so much more lace, I'm going to need to be really, really specific about how I do it up. So I'm going to start kind of from the bottom and it is kind of a mess. Like it takes a lot of sort of fiddling and fidgeting and stuff like that. I'm going to start from the bottom and the top. What I want to kind of do is I want to kind of make it less, less, fewer of these like kind of long dangling situations. So I want to kind of go in and try and see if I can just gently near the top make some of those strings laces come a little bit lower so you can see well this I need to always do is pull on the left pull on the right and it's a total disaster as you can see this is gonna take me quite a while and that's one of the things that I find with closed front busks they take a while so I found a nice lace there that has some give I'm gonna try and see if I can find the next one but because the laces are so long it's all kind of a bit of a disaster. So I'm gonna just gonna feel around and see if I can find the next one in that series. Um, and this is one of the reasons why I generally always, especially for beginners, go with the open busk in the front. Because if you are a beginner and you start with these corsets, like maybe from Michant or other brands that have closed busk fronts, you can start to get kind of frustrated with having to take 10 or 15 minutes to get into your corset. That can be quite annoying for a lot of people. So especially if you want to be waist training or wearing it every day, then sorry, I'm going to, this is a bodysuit in the back. I'm kind of like half dressed. I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, but if so, I will hold these in the front so that it doesn't get too much in the way. But you can see if you're wondering whether to get a closed or open busk corset. Um, this may help you <laughs> make some decisions. Now I just wanna make sure that these are actually the bunny ears and I've discovered that they're not, which is why I was pulling and it wasn't really doing anything. The bunny ears are the one here, you'll see somewhere on the corset around the waist area, there will be one and it will have a little loop that goes over and doesn't actually go sort of in anywhere else. So that is something that 
It's very helpful. This one was the bunny ear. You can see there's no other one there that loops straight over and is flat. That already makes a massive difference. So if you're finding yourself frustrated with the front busk, it's not moving, you might want to check out if you've got the right string, if you're pulling on the right string. So this might be slightly long, this video, because of the fact that it's just going to take me kind of ages to get into this, but already just in finding the right bunny ears, it's already started to make a big difference. Can you, can you tell? I'm starting to have a lot easier a time now that I've been able to pull on the right string. So that is going to take me a little while. So this, for some reason, isn't this part. I'm going to kind of, I do this a lot. I'm not sure that everybody does, but this is, you know, always just going to be my way of doing this. I'm just going to tuck this little bodysuit back here into my trousers so it's not in the way. Um, and I want to really like get you guys all the way through doing this because I feel like it will be helpful for people who struggle with this to, to even just see the amount of time that it might take. Um, you know, and it's different to other other courses. Now these are shoestring laces, which I usually prefer for waist training because they have a lot, they're like kind of tackier in terms of their give. So because they've got this, it's like a typical shoestring, um, they've got that kind of texture that means that they hold onto each other, but it also means that sometimes pulling through is a little bit more difficult. So let's see, I'm going to test, I've tried to get the the loose laces down lower towards the bunny ears so that I can pull on either side. Um, and that isn't giving very much. So you can see I'm pulling this. It's not giving very much. It means that I need to make it, this fluffy part needs to be closer to wherever the bunny ears are. So here we are. I wish I had a speed up option on my video but I usually just post these kind of straight after filming so I'm going back up so I need to go down because the bunny ears are a little bit low on this corset so here we go getting there getting there pulling and pulling it's not really working I'm going to just kind of I've just thrown my bunny ears down and I've tucked them sort of between my knees to hold on to them so that I can do this with both hands. So I'm just going to go ahead, check, go like this, so that they're not tied or mixed in together. I'm going to go down. So from here, there should be, there should be give here. I'm not sure why that's not giving. So I'm going to try actually just pulling every lace. Now let's see this, then that, then that and I'm kind of trying to make it like a little like, like my way down a ladder on this you can see how it's coming in much nicer together this is a probably about a 23 inch corset I buy between 22 to 24 inches just because as most of you know I'm on this weight loss journey with the um, warrior Academy and see right here just in trying to pull my hands through I found that that's one of the reasons why it wasn't going through that one of these laces, as you could probably see, but I couldn't see, one of the laces was looped in under here, under another one of the laces. That's why I go like this across, because with my fingers, I'm trying to get in between the laces and separate them in case any of them are caught underneath. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is from there, continue. I'm gonna try the bunny ears again now, because I feel like we have made a little progress with that one, but it's not, it's not quite enough. So as you guys know, a lot of, um, a lot of you have followed me on thecuriousraven.net and um, on there, let me just see, I'm just kind of getting confused why, why this isn't, this isn't taking, it's like not giving down here. So usually if things aren't giving, something is caught somewhere. When that happens, I go through and I try and pull each individual string to see what's caught where. Now this has a loose string in there, so I'm just going to find 
other related strings to it and start pulling them and then see how that goes. So I'm going to try the bunny ears again because this is a regular bunny ear test and there we go. We've suddenly had, suddenly had it work out where I'm finally getting some give on the bunny ears here. You can start to see the length of these bunny ears. These laces are literally like my arm length, double my arm length. So let me just remove that WhatsApp message and continue. Um, so I have this weight loss journey and like sort of physical journey that I'm on with the Warrior Academy uh, in here, here in Hong Kong. And um, it very much involves me getting more in touch with my body again, which is really great because as a lot of you know, I was very, very ill last year with a lot of food intolerance issues. So I'm gonna have to put these between my leg again because I'm very confused as to why this isn't moving. And it looks like something is probably tangled. That is there. I'm just gonna pull on these, make sure everything is sorted. There's a string. You can see how long this is taking. This is a really long video. And this is the amount of time it will take you to get on this corset or another corset that's like it if it has this kind of tangling issue. So see, I've got the top done and that's only halfway through. So I'm probably not gonna go ahead and do all the bottom because it's the same idea. I just kind of pull up and do the backwards ladder. It's a little bit easier on the bottom because of the fact that the lace, the bunny ears are closer to there, but I'm not gonna spend my time taking you guys through getting these because it's the, it's the whole situation the same as we did on the top. So this then with these laces, I would just tie them up in the back 